Let us now look at the different delay modes of the Daedalus plugin. With these three buttons, we can select the three delay modes. We are now in sync mode, as you can see. And the delay time is then synchronized with the DAW tempo. The two circular buttons allow me to filter out some values. For example, I can remove the triplet values and also the dotted values. Back to normal. With this parameter, I can set a percentage variation of the delay time. The delay time of the two channels is varied differently, and this enhances the stereophonic effect and gives a flanging flavor to the sound. We now proceed to the second type of delay, the free mode. In this mode, the delay time is set in seconds. There are two delay parameters representing the minimum and maximum delay variation time. As soon as I change either parameter, the delays of the two channels start moving in opposite directions. The third delay type is the pitch mode. In this case, the resulting delay times coincide with the frequency of the MIDI notes indicated by the parameter. I raise the feedback value to lengthen the delay resonance. Increasing the variability of the delay time, I get a chorus effect. I open the filter to add high harmonic components to the resonance. We can switch on the MIDI icon to control the resonant frequency with a keyboard or another controller. playing a MIDI keyboard to change the resonant frequency of the delay. And that's all, folks. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Daedalus Delay. See you soon.